Hello friends, I'm Muskan. I hope you all are doing well. So today we will learn about React Native Custom Media Controls. As you can see on the screen, we will create this kind of media controls like the landscape mode button and the forward backward button for 15 seconds and play pause button and the progress bar which you can see at the bottom and the timing of the video and the current time. So why we are creating custom media players? In the last video, we learned about React Native Video. In React Native Video module, we don't have support for media controls in Android. So that's why I am creating this media controls for Android specifically. And in this, we will see orientation also. Like we will play video in full screen orientation and uh, landscape and portrait mode. So let's understand this with code. As you can see here, I have already created video player component and I have imported this in app.js and I'm returning from here. In video player, I have added one video component and in this I am using a video URL which we have seen in the last video also. Currently, we have React Native Video Library controls but we don't have any landscape mode option in this one and the 15 second forward and backward option in this one. So, we will create custom media controls. So let's get started. At the very first, I will create a video reference with react.createRef and I'll use this reference in video component. Next thing I will do, I will pause this media control and then I will save this. It's disappear now because we are going to add our custom controls. So at the very first, I will add here landscape mode icon. When we click on the landscape mode icon, the video will play in the landscape. So for this, I will add a view. Madding styling in this view. I have already created all the styles in this style sheet so you can just take code from my github I will put link in the description and the next thing I will need touchable opacity because I'm gonna click on that icon and I will import this from react native in this touchable opacity I will use svg icon so I will import this I have already added some SVG icon in assets so you can take from there like you can see here I have added some icons and I have exported from this index.js file it is an icon folder and all the icons also in this folder so you can take from here and you can export from here if you don't want to export then you can directly take from asset icon folder also you can directly import your icon here i will gonna use like this full screen open I have imported full screen open SVG icon. Now I am going to use this here. As you can see here, here is the icon. Now I will add some style to the icon. And next thing we want, like when we click on this, it will play our video in landscape mode. So I will add on press here. Now I will create a function. I will use this function in the on press of full screen button and in this function I will add some conditions if full screen. For this first I will need a full screen state. So I will create a state here. Initial value of full screen will be false because initially we need our video in portrait mode only. And then in handle full screen I will need orientation. So for this I'm gonna install a library with npm. It's installed. Now I will unlock all the orientation and full screen mode. It's automatically import orientation dot unlock all orientation. So when full screen is true, 
I will unlock all the orientation so that we can rotate our video in landscape mode. Else orientation dot log to landscape left. And now let's click on this button and check. Nothing happening right now because we didn't set full screen true. So for this I will use use effect. In this I will use orientation dot and orientation listener and in this I will call a function handle orientation. So first I will create this function and in this function I will get orientation. So I'll check with if condition if orientation equals to landscape left or orientation equals to landscape right then I'll set full screen true otherwise I'll set full screen false and then in this case I will use status bar I'm gonna import this from react native in this case status bar will be false and in uh, when full screen true we will show status bar in portrait mode now let's check so I have moved this to landscape mode and this is working fine in landscape mode status bar also hidden now next thing I will add some play pause button in the backward power button for this I have created one component so I will directly use that component here uh, so in this component I am using two SVGs video skip forward and video skip back and in this I am using the touchable opacity with play pause button here is the SVG of video pose and video play and I am using some props in this component so let's use this prop and let's see how it will work so in play controls initially I will send a on play prop in this I will use handle play function so first I will create this function here so in handle play what I will do I will set play to true and I will create a state with play and set play and it will be initially false and then I will use this play in the video component with post prop if video is proposed then it will be opposite of play so this is the on play prop and next prop will be on pose in on pose again i will create a function handle play pose let's create this function here and in this function i will add if video is playing mode then i will set it to false and then return from here otherwise i will set it to true i have to add one more prop if video is in playing mode then i have to send play or pause in this it will check if video is playing then it will show pause if it pause then it will show play button so that we can start play when it's in pause condition if i will click on pause then it pauses and it will show play button so like this we can use play pause next thing we have skip forward and skip back so i will create two more function for these two for skip backward we have skip backwards from which is here skip backwards i'll copy the same and paste it here and in this i will create a function skip backward for this i'll create a function in this function i will take a video reference in the video ref we will get current dot seek so i'll use this and in this i will need current time state so i'll create this state in 
initial time will be 0 and then I will minus this by 15 because we have to go backward and then I will set current time current time minus 15 save this and check this out let's console current time and check currently it is 0 and if I click on backward it's minus 15 and minus 30. I click two times. Next, we will use on skip forward. So let's check the graph. It is skip forward. I'm really going to use skip forward, and in this, I will add skip forward function. What I will do, I will just add plus 15 in current time. Let's check. Currently, it's minus 30. When I click on the forward button, you can see it's 15 and 30 and video also skipping by 15 seconds. And next thing, I will use the progress bar. Let's copy this and use this here. When I save it, you can see progress bar is visible here. But currently it is only the progress bar. We have to show the duration and the current time of the video also. So for this, I will use current time in this prop. And as you can see here, it is visible 2 minutes 30 seconds. Now next thing, I will gonna use duration. So for this, I will create again a state. Initial duration will be 0. If duration is greater than 0, then we will send duration, otherwise, it will be 0. So, as you can see, duration is visible here as a 0. Next thing, what I will gonna use on slide start. So, when I will uh, start this slide like this, for this, I will need a function again because here in the progress bar component, I am using slider component. This is coming from a package React Native Community slider. So in this, I will need on sliding start and on sliding complete function. So I'll create this function here. And, and in this one, I will send handle pose function. And in on slide complete, I'll again send this handle pose function. So when I click on the slides, it's moving now. Next important thing of what I will use on slide capture. On slide capture will give us the timing of the video. So when I move this progress bar, it will give me the time of this video. So in this, I will use on seek function. I'll just use video reference with current dot seek and whatever data I'm getting from this function, I will use this data dot seek time and then I'll set this in current time data dot seek time. Let's save this one and then let's check it's playing but there is a no timing change in the current time. So for this what I'm going to do, I'll add on progress in the video component and in on progress function, I will set current time with theta dot current time. So let me refresh this and let's play this. As you can see, it's moving and the time also changing. So for video duration, I'm gonna use on load here. In this, I'll call a function on load end, and I'll create a function here, and I will set duration with data dot duration and current time with data dot current time. Let's refresh this. Now I can see the duration of video. If you want to know more about on load, uh, how it works, you can watch my last video. And one more thing I will add here on end prop. In this, I'll call again a function on end. Um, in this function, I will set play false because at the end we have to play there's a false and video reference for current or seek will be zero. Now one more thing what I'm gonna do is I will create a state 
show control and set show control and initial value will be true in this and uh, here before the video i will add one touchable opacity with a function show controls and uh, now i will create this function and if show control is true then i'll set it false otherwise true so now you can see video is paused i'll play this then i'll move this to landscape mode it is working as expected and when i click on the video part it is showing control and removing control as you can see here it is working fine as expected we can skip forward 15 second we can skip backward 15 seconds we can rotate it to landscape mode and again in portrait mode and we can hide and show control on click of the video overlay so like this you can create custom controls and you can use it that's it for today thanks for watching if you like my work please do like share and subscribe